Hello everyone, are you ready to make a healthy change in your life? This is exactly what this event is about. Charting a path to a brighter tomorrow by Optimal Living Summit. Charting a path to a brighter tomorrow? Is it the title of a new bestseller or a new movie? No, it is even better. It is the name of a wellness event which was organized by Optimal Living Summit. And it was a real success. So it's been an incredible event. I'm so happy that everybody came. I'm so happy that I was able to host it here at City Hall. Uh, what a great group of people. And I'm just excited to see the changes after today's event. We hear the word wellness almost every day and everywhere. And as it has become popular recently, so not everyone is aware what it really means. Are there any definitions of wellness? Or it is just how you feel it? Let's try to find out. To me, wellness means, you know, a holistic approach to life. It's not, um, you know, figuring everything out all at once. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's acknowledging that we're not going to be perfect every day, right? But we can strive for that perfection. For me, wellness is the entire body, our, our entire well-being. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and social. So. It's taking care of ourselves, it's feeling alive, it's actually feeling present and in the moment so we can enjoy and experience everything that there is. For me, wellness, oh my gosh, it's, it's huge. I mean, I always believed in good health and taking care of yourself, eliminate the stress, eat the right food, exercise, do all the right healthy stuff for your body, and you, you will come out healthy on top. So for me, it's an overall wellness you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and, and that's what I work with and that's what I go by. My personal definition of wellness is harmony and peace of mind. Wellness uh, for me is uh, health, it's freedom, financial freedom, it's a peace of mind, and uh, to empower me to um, follow my mission. For me, wellness is all about just being your authentic self and feeling good about yourself, feeling good about inside and outside, and just having a lifestyle that is fulfilling and with great purpose. The idea of wellness in my life has been about personal transformation. And when we get to take all the different, the various modalities, the various aspects of wellness, I spoke a little bit about it today, the fact that there's social wellness, there's environmental wellness, there's spiritual wellness, there's financial wellness, the emotional side of wellness, there are so many different various components that make us feel whole within. And so I think that was the biggest thing tonight is that people understood that there's something missing that they need to incorporate into their life to feel better or in a space of really a, a deeper profound meaning of wellness. So wellness for me is about personal transformation. And when you get into that zone of personal transformation, anything is possible. So wellness can be interpreted and defined differently by different people. But what unites all of them is that wellness is your total well-being in regards to your health, nutrition, emotions, finances, and so on. It is what makes you happier and complete. What Optimal Living Summit does is it focuses on mental health, occupational wellness and strengthening team spirit within the workplace. Is it essential to live and work in a healthy environment? Here are the answers. Wellness starts with yourself. Mm, okay. So if you don't bring the love within yourself first, then it doesn't matter if you're at the home or if you're at the work. It starts with you. Uh, the beneficial aspects of being home and, well, obviously, if you are Clear of mind, you know, we talked about eight steps of, of wellness and different aspects of wellness. All those components are very beneficial. If you have all those components, you're in the flow of life. I think it has to first start off with self-love, right? You have to feel good about yourself and you have to come to a place where you feel good and confident about it. When you feel good like that at home, then when you go into work, you just want to be able to spread that love as well. Self-love inside, but then of course with everybody else. Within the home setting, it's creating that culture where we talk about the foods we eat, we talk about taking time to relax, putting down our devices, taking time to laugh together and to communicate. Um, and 
once we have that discipline within the home setting, it's easy to translate that into a work environment. So when we're at home, finding those things that we enjoy doing, but also taking some of that to work with us, finding little things at work that bring us joy, and building those into our days. Because I really do think that it's a mindset, there are choices, and it's how we want to how we want to live our life. Well, that has to work with like uh, the connection between one another and how you all communicate and deal with one another in order to have a, a really happy environment. So that's what is important also for wellness, a really happy environment that everybody's happy in the home. So, you know, uh, socially the same thing. Companies that are serious about the wellness program have a deep impact on their employees, their happiness, their productivity. You know, companies uh, productivity. If I'm an employee and I'm living my purposeful life, right, and I have my boss supporting me in that way, then my output is going to be much greater. My loyalty to the company is going to be much greater. We need it everywhere because um, we are in communities. At home, we have a family, which is a small community. At work, um, it's a bigger community. And if we are well, if our brain works uh, the way so <laughs> properly, if uh, we are healthy, if the energy that we emit is positive, uplif uplifting, uh, basically it, it is contagious, other people will take that energy on. Professionally and personally, uh, when I'm working with leaders, when I'm working with CEOs, I'm working with executives, we always redirect them back to their personal space and what's actually happening in the home. It is not disconnected from the workplace, right? I was saying it earlier in the event, wellness starts in the home. So if we can actually look at the things that are not necessarily working, if it's not working in your home, it's definitely not gonna be working in the, in the corporate space or the people that are around you that you're working with. So this is the idea of it's how do you fuse both, you know, personal and professional so that you actually are living a happier life. What I personally loved about the event is that all the speakers who are specialists in various fields provided different approaches in describing wellness, but all together they completed the whole puzzle. This event proves that we all need to feel happy, comfortable and evaluated, no matter where. And it all starts with wellness. Oh!